That's right, I don't mind those infractions for cars. It gets you to feel the difference between good and bad. early because you subconsciously in your mind go, ready to go, swing. You know, if it gets there early, you can make adjustments if you're not perfect. But you get there and you go, ball's going, I'm going to swing. And uh, tell me if I threw the ball. Yep, you didn't on that one. I didn't? No, well, because that was good. Step up once more. with a snap. Okay. Should I get this? Good. I'm not going to talk much in between. I'm just going to let you do your thing. One more, mm -hmm. and then can you get three from the side? Yeah. Yeah, little throw in there. Yeah. Build up your toe. Yeah. There was just that little bit of throw at the end, and instead of it being here, it was there. It looked like your foot stopped. My foot stopped right here. Yeah. That's, right. what, that's what that's what that I told you about there, flexibility. Flexibility. Adapt. There's certain things I can't teach you when you've got all of those. The flexibility is the easy one. Off the point. Yeah. A little bit wobbly. That was good. It's all in the catch. You're a little bit back on the ball with the catch. So where you present the ball and you think it's here, you're actually further forward on the well, what do you, what do you back, back So when you, so if you catch it here, okay, and you go perfect, I'm going to drop it here, and then you catch it back here and your hand doesn't get fully to the same position, it looks like a perfect drop, but your toe's back here instead of being under the fat part of the ball. The other ones, when you get that really solid thump on the ball, the ball presents here, the bad catch presents it there. So you're now. Instead of being right here on the sweet spot, you're back here. So it comes more off your toe and you get that wobbly off the outside. It looks perfect to you, but it's all in the catch. Yeah. Catch is important. Alright, for sure. So let's try to catch it. Just relax for a second. Yeah. Same punt, you're this, this much further on the ball. So you now get the sweet spot through the ball instead of off your toe. Same swing. All right, that's the difference, the attention to detail. Now, um, what did you see? That's better. Good. That's better. Good. That's my punt right there. You don't make them go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so 
Seems like you've found the sweet spot on the football, which is good. Yeah. That's I call it the six shooter. Like a, like a cowboy pulling it out of the hip. Okay. Just right there. Okay. Aye, and then we talk him into drop. <laughs> That's all right. Hey. I'm going to say you've had a great snapper until today. <laughs> Walk, swing. So the difference between college and pros is the attention to detail and the speed at which you have to do things. Because in college, when you guys run whatever protection, it doesn't matter. You have more time. So my major uh, thing I try and work on with college guys as they're trying to step into the NFL is consistency and speed of movement. And speed of movement doesn't mean you try and go faster. It means you economize the movement. Because right? a lot of college guys, because you've always had so much time to catch the ball, they catch in close and they move out. Uh, it doesn't add to your consistency to do that, but it adds time to your get off. And so if you can do what you're doing, which is catching and just presenting the ball, you need your get off to be in a practice situation, one three to one four, which will be one two to one three in, in a game. And that's, that's, that's NFL speed, okay. all right? Any coach that tells you you needs one one five shouldn't be a coach, but you know, and because a lot of guys will, will try and make you go that fast in practice, and your brain scrambles trying to go that quick. It's because it's ridiculous. No one goes that fast. So you're saying, of course, you're saying minimize the, move, the less movements, all that stuff. So if you can catch that ball in a comfortable position in front of you and just present the ball, it'll take point two off your get off just by doing that. Okay? Yep, that's great. That's great. Perfect. And right now in warm ups, that's a perfect speed. So now what I want you to do is try and work on being almost precise, almost perfect with your drop. Okay. So analyze every drop, okay? Good, good. Good, good. I like your drop. Right yeah, perfect. Low drop for me, low drop win. I can always tell the guy that's punted in the wind because those pretty high drops, they don't exist for windy punts. It doesn't happen. If you look at all the good punters right now in the NFL, they're low drop. But there used to be that pretty high drop. It doesn't happen. It doesn't. It's not practical. If you put it high, it's going to die. Yeah, and you're going to, not only that, you're going to shank the punt. It's not going to be where you think the drop's going to be. Because by the time it comes to your foot, it's already moving. It's gone. It's yeah. twisting and, you know, so. Yeah, yeah. So that's the one thing I would, I would have you think in your head is put the ball on your foot. So we, where's the best? Where's the no, best? exactly where you are is perfect. I'm not changing any of that. Okay. Just um, I think you've got a little throw when you drop. You let it go a little early. So what I'm what I would like you to do is instead of letting go here and having it travel, get your hand out quicker and let it just sink. Okay. All right. So think think put it on my foot. Try and put it on your foot instead of dropping the ball. Because I think what happens is you get to here and you let go early. Didn't I just see you last week? Um, if you let it go early and you do it in a windy situation, you got the wind behind you, it travels further. You got the wind in front of you, it comes closer. So if you get your hand out, that's a, that's a controlled, strong position. And then you just let it float down, okay? You had, that's why I filmed you from the side, because you had a little short arm with a throw and you want to get out early. How are you, mate? Merry Christmas. Thank Good you. To see you too. You too. Hey, you got a minute? Meet my daughter. Yeah, sure. Just speed up the snap a little. No, no, what you were doing, but I want you to go faster than... Larry. Sounds good. Oh, that was bad. Better? That's a yes. Now you, your thumb stayed on too long, and it, when the nose dropped down, yeah. you, you yeah. noticed that. 
but where the drop was was much better because it was probably four or five inches further out and then let it go instead of here and then just throw okay. it. Okay, it's something I'm gonna practice. Exactly. That's my job is to get these things to work. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Is that a catch? Is that better? Yeah, do you feel the catch? Yeah, was that a... Uh... little ice cream cone on the back. Yeah. A lot of times I'll talk in between because he's videoing and I'll get that I'll get the video of me talking. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to slow it. It's hard to see quick. from here. It's easier to see from over there. Okay. But just uh, yeah, slow it down, be, become methodical with it, and then you repeat it enough to become faster. Okay. Yeah. There it is right there. And even off a low snap, the catch is better and pres presentation is good. I used to catch like this. I used to catch like a like a alligator. Oh, yeah, yeah. Catch like that. Yeah. I noticed that. You remember that stuff? But no. Well, you only drop it so many times before you learn. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why I had so many drops last season. Yeah. Well, and, and the better your long snappers get, the better your catch gets. Yeah, they're good. They're good. Because, you know, once you start to get to NFL quality or good college snappers, you never worry about this or this. It's just there. So then it's easy to learn how to catch because you're holding the same spot mm -hmm. every time. No, I was blessed with a uh, good snappers all my life. That's money right there. Okay. That's money. The catch was money, the presentation looked good. Okay. Great as we can be. Hmm? Oh, you're talking, oh, I'm sorry. What would your target be? That, football, that soccer ball right there? The, this side of the goals? I'll actually make it a... And don't stop in between them. Just let it roll for three or four, and then I'll tell you. I'm going to warm myself up. That's <laughs> okay, one more, and then I'll get you to do a couple from just over there so I can get some side shots. Step away, then come back. Nod your head when you're ready, I'll snap. Okay. <laughs> Bottom of the letters, hit him right there. Because he's a because he's a wide receiver, not a quarterback. <laughs> 